Welcome to the Business of Retreat show, the number one podcast for preparing and growing your retreat business. I'm Nim Stand, and I'm from Business of Retreats Academy. And if this is your first time listening, welcome. This show is dedicated to giving you the best tools and strategies around how to structure, plan, and market your retreat so that it's not only a success but profitable. So whether you are planning your first retreat or you're already an experienced retreat leader, this is for you. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the question that Mattia had, how to create an attractive and meaningful theme or pick one if you have too many ideas. Well, Mattia, I would I would say this is the best question. And, and the first question that um, a lot of retreat leaders should ask, because I understand we all have a very creative ideas and we all want to like share so many things um, for our group, our retreat. But my recommendation is to just pick one theme add the value for your retreat. I always tell my students that you need to sell them what they think they need. Okay, again, you need to sell them what they think they want, but give them what they need. So the theme of the retreat, just pick one theme, one concept, right? And hold on to that idea. But inside the package, when you're creating your um, itinerary, you can add yoga, you can add meditation, you can add healthy food, you can add um, journaling, you can add a uh, hiking or swimming, like you can add a lot of things inside the package, but you you know, all the activities and the teaching and the material need to come back to serve the same concept, you know, so that your your ideal clients will understand that, okay, I signed up for this retreat, you know, and, and, and they know what to expect. Number two is to research what your ideal clients want and need, or what is your niche? What are they, what's your clients or ideal clients looking for, right? Um, when it comes to creating the theme and try to stand out uh, from the crowd, you need to understand that if you see everyone else, you know, everyone else um, host a retreat, you know, what's their theme and how they do it, research about it and take a look at how they do and what they do, right? And the best thing to stand out is like try to not do what they do right? Try to be unique. Try to not doing what everyone else do because if you do like everyone else do, have the same theme, have the same concept, have the same itinerary like everyone else do, there's no need for your clients to sign up for your retreat because there's tons of options out there that they might find it's cheaper. They might find that it's more convenient. They might find that um, that location is more attractive to them. So, research of you know what other people do and do the different and that's all so simple um advice is to pick one thing pick only one theme you know don't don't get confused don't get lost and just like stay in in this in one area one concept and then research uh, what your ideal clients want and need so that you can be able to target them and serve them the best you can. So question of the day, what is your theme for your retreat and why? Thank you so much for checking out this episode. I hope you get tons of ideas and value. Whether you are watching this on YouTube or listening on podcast, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our new episodes. And if you would love to support our show, please rate and review this show on Apple Podcasts and share with your friends. I will see you in the next episode.